Hello everybody, Princess and Bear here, and today we're at Disney Springs. Yes, we're going to a seafood place because I cray. This is the princess idea, oddly enough, to go to a seafood restaurant. I've had like a, a big desire to go to this boathouse restaurant, which is a Landry's restaurant, people. So I guess you can guess, we're going to Boathouse. We are. We're going to go try this place out. We've hung out outside this place, got drinks outside this place. Many listen times. To music outside this place. Watch the cars go in the water outside this place. We've never yes. eaten here or even gotten a drink here. But it looks nice. So we're going to go and check it out and we'll see you soon. Be sure to amphib a car. You heard the girl. It's very uh, boaty in here. I ship it. That's for these rolls, which are like a buttery, sticky mess. Just a hint. Not that it really needs anymore. I'm glad I'm sure she's the princess. Four to five claws. They're like buttery sweet rolls. Break her poor heart. Poor thing. You don't care. You're just eating that. Not vegan. I don't get the fun rolls like Bear does, but I do get this awesome vegan and gluten free roll. And guess what? It doesn't look like a piece of cake, like all those other gluten-free rolls that we get. It does look like a hamburger bun. It's cut like it's a hamburger. Like ham Maybe it is. Maybe their hamburger buns are vegan. Oh, it smells really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So the consistency is very dry, which is similar for, you know, gluten-free options. Um, it does still have a little bit of that cakey taste to it, like you usually get with like Mickey Wa vegan Mickey Waffles and that other gluten-free bread that we don't like to mention, but um, it's not bad. They did offer some oil for me to dip it in since I can't have the butter, but... Anybody got time for that? It's not bad. I don't think I would get another one. Just one is fine. And I'll probably share it. Well, I am going to share it with Bear. And he'll probably end up eating it all. Give me a Kaiser roll. Yeah. Got that gluten-free like Kaiser roll taste. Very dry. It's like mouth quick saying. Two out of five balls. Nah. Strawberry fizz. It tastes like a strawberry mojito. I don't think it's a drink. Mojito. 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 Mojito.
mojito. So it's definitely mojito e. The strawberries, mint leaves. It definitely looks muddled, as they say. A nice wide paper straw, thankfully. Ooh. It's very mint forward. Very mojito e. I don't really like mojitos. Is that I like the mint, but it's like the tart after the back. I can't really stand it's a gin. But uh, hmm. Two hundred five. Well, it's not bad, but I wouldn't drink more than one of those. Now this is the Orlando tribute. Orlando Pride. Orlando Pride. Of course, there's an orange peel in here because you know Florida. I'm a little worried about what's on top. It almost tastes like an old-fashioned. I don't know how I feel about that. I thought I was gonna steal that away from Bear, but I think I like my strawberry mojito better. As for this, when I ordered because the mixture sounded great. I saw bourbon and my eyes went wide, but I'm kind of second-guessing my choice now because it looks like that's been piss. But let's find out. It's definitely a sip and drink, given the glass and the strength of it. It's not horrible. It's like a sit out by the water, it's sort of relaxed sort of drink. Three out of five plus. My fair share of pasta. I do. And Bull and Bear has taught me to not be so super critical of pasta. Mm. 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 Oh my gosh. Mm. Definitely doesn't feel like they put no thought into it. So I take back what I said. Four to five bucks. But I really do feel like pasta is the same level as salad when it comes to veganism. It's just lazy. So let's try this MFR. Get a nice healthy bite here. are nice but overall it's a very bland dish even though it looks like it's covered in seasonings it doesn't taste like the season at all there is some stuff for the table seasoning salt sea salt and pepper maybe I would put pepper but I don't even think pepper would save this very mediocre I'm a little bummed but I kind of expected that with pasta at a seafood place it's like one of those things where it's like, it looks almost memeable, like uh, you tried, see like a little mushrooms and little sweet potato, tomato, spinach, a little bit of pepper. It's steaming hot at least. But other than the veggies and a little bit of pepper on it, it's not a whole lot to it. It's just, the pasta's just there, it's filler, not really like a cohesive dish, it's just stuff on a plate. Not the best vegan pasta we've had, and again, it's not like an afterthought. Like, you have all these things, it's like, oh, we can throw together pasta and take off cheese, and it just feels like they put no thought into it, just to make the cheese and not try to elevate the shit at all. So, for me, that's a one out of five plus. Much better pasta, much better places at Disney Springs. Now, as for me, I fell for the chef's choice menu of mahi. I'm very judgy of my mahi. Being an island boy, let's see. Nice and flaky, hot. So it has a good sear to it. I mean, it's seared and it's got pepper on it, but it's really not a whole lot to it. It's really not as flavorful as I was expecting. Nothing, nothing amazing. It's supposed to be like this 
avocado salsa on top. And it's kind of just more of a vegetable medley on top. I'm just a boatload of soup, this doesn't really add anything. I definitely had better mahi on property. I definitely had better blackened fish on property. Two out of five walls, I wouldn't order this again. I'm over here like trying to finish my food and Bear's already done. Hello everybody, Princess Vera here. We just finished at the boathouse. Yeah. So thoughts? Uh, not worth it to me. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed. I, this place has been big on seafood. You see the oyster bar out front. I was expecting a lot better and me being so judgy about mahi, I was not impressed. Not even like fulfilled. I mean, my pasta was meh. My mahi was generic and bland. I was not impressed. I took it to go, but I'm probably going to try to find a friend to pawn this food off onto. I sort of ate around mine. I wasn't really in love with it. Uh, for the price of the food here, I would definitely say skip it. Yeah. Paddlefish wasn't fantastic, but even think paddlefish, I think, was better than this place. Agreed. Uh, we'll link that video down below, but I mean, definitely. Well, I don't know. I had to get pasta at paddlefish, too, and that was like eating salt. So at least I wasn't eating salt here, but it was like super bland. Yeah, I, I wasn't really in love with it. I can't recommend this place for me. The theming is excellent. The service was awesome. Oh, yeah. I Very love attentive. The I love the theme of the restaurant. But the food just left something to be desired. Yeah, I agree. Uh, have you guys been to the boathouse? What do you guys think? I, we hadn't really heard anything coming here, so we're interested to see what you guys think. You know what to do? Hit us up in the comments if you want to see other videos like this. Hit the notification bell, and we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. Hello everybody. Wait, okay, yes, we're fine. Princess and a bear.